I have friends on Facebook who are generous enough to pay attention to my videos about language and culture and politics, and I appreciate you. But some of you have a real hard time understanding why I think some of my concepts are important. Some of you think that my not using the word race is semantic. It's not semantic. And though I've explained it many times before, I'll try to explain it again more succinctly here. And I think that the personal quality of a video might help you to read my feelings and my sincerity and might allow you to listen to me with greater depth so you can understand. As I said in a comment earlier, we no longer refer to cars as horseless carriages. Although that would be accurate in terms of the etymology and the history, it's ridiculous, right? Cars have become such a new thing, such a thing independent of carriages and horse and buggy, that it would be ridiculous to refer to a car as something lacking a horse. That wasn't true at around the time of the invention of the automobile for commercial and private use. But that's certainly true now. The argument I'm trying to make is it is just as ridiculous to continue using the word race now that we know from the scientific evidence that there are no races among human beings. People are afraid of my pushing this issue because they think that it will erase the prejudice that we have to fight against. Of course it won't, but it will stop giving credence to the people who think there are races. If you went around talking about people who either believe or don't believe in Santa Claus, the way people go around talking about whether or not people believe in God, then you legitimize the idea of Santa Claus. We keep Santa Claus for a certain time of year as a fantasy to enjoy. We don't inject it into every conversation, because that would be ridiculous. But in the political and social discussions of each nation, we discuss race as if it's a real thing. And this is part of the problem. It's because it is part of the vernacular, part of the zeitgeist, that ignorant people think it's real. If we got down to the real issue, and that is culture differences, we might be a little bit uncomfortable because we'd have to discuss what aspects of our culture are annoying other people or which are deleterious and dangerous, but we'd get to the solutions. By couching things in race, you're saying that people's differences are permanent and inborn. That's more insulting than saying that they're cultural. And that's what's keeping the illusion perpetuated. And so some people will say to me, just use the word because everybody uses it. Well, we don't use the N-word anymore, do we? Not only because it's insulting, but because there's no such thing as what that word describes, a denigrated form of human from a different race. We stopped using it not only because it's insulting, but because it's inaccurate and it perpetuates a myth. And that's why people should stop saying race. Finally, People say to me, but there are people who believe in flat earth. There are people who believe in God. And don't we call them flat earthers? And Christians and Jews and Muslims? Yeah, but I choose not to use those words. And if I had, they wouldn't be so dangerous. But it is dangerous to call someone a racist because you're legitimizing the idea that that person doesn't believe in a certain race and fosters the movement of another race. You're adding credence you're lending credence to the idea that he is right insofar as one race is better than another or one race is worse than another or all races are equal. It would be far better and more logical to take out of the discussion his ammunition, his word race. He thinks he's a racist, people think he's a racist, but he's an ethnophobe. Call him what he is. Just as we call a person who believes Elvis is still alive a delusional we don't say that the people who don't believe in Elvis are non-Elvis believers. So why do we call people who don't like one ethnic group or another racists? We're giving them comfort that they don't deserve. And we're legitimizing their argument. Stop doing it. Do you get it now? Yeah.